If you are learning more about Juniper or testing it in a virtual environment and you're running VMX, occasionally uh, you may be faced with an error that says something about Triton mode and that you can't do something. Uh, I've particularly seen it in the case of Layer 3 VPNs, uh, routing instances, when you try to add an interface to a Layer 3 VPN and you can't. Well, it's telling you basically that you need to add a license. Juniper allows a 60-day trial license so that you can enable VMX features, particularly with adding a Layer 3 VPN interface and probably various other things uh, that you may come across. All right, so I'm going to show you how to download that license off of Juniper's website and install it on the command line of VMX. If you've seen another one of my videos, I think it's a more lengthy uh, Layer 3 VPN video where I do some interop between Cisco iOS XR and Juniper Junos. In there somewhere, I think I show how to do the same thing, but this is just a more abbreviated video that speaks exactly to the VMX license. All right, so I just wanted to put this out quickly for anybody that's looking to overcome this issue. Uh, this will help them. Um, and so let's get going. You're going to see this can be a bit quirky. Uh, you have to have the formatting of the license key just right to paste it into the command line. And so hang in there with me. I'm going to show you how it fails a few times. Uh, and then I end up removing white space in the ASCII text in a notepad. Finally get it pasted in there just right and it works. In the trial version of VMX, when you go to add a interface, in a routing instance, you get this message, RT instance, only loopback interfaces are supported under VRF route instances in Triton mode. So you need to go to Juniper's website and get a VMX trial license. So to go to juniper.net and do a search for VMX or VMX license, and you should eventually get to a page that looks something like this. Start your free trial today of VMX. You can, it says select the software. You can click here to select software. Here's where you retrieve the license key. Click that. Mine is set to open with uh, WordPad, so open that. Copy this. And then we are going to paste that into the command line. So I'm going to roll back this pending change. Roll back. Okay, there's nothing there now. Show system license. Okay, request system license add terminal. Hit enter. Enter blank line between each license key. Type control D at a new line to end the input. So let's paste this. Terminal error. No license data is present. So it didn't take it very well. Let's try this again. Okay, let's try to get out of this. Hit Control D. Okay, five errors. So I'm going to put this into a notepad. It was in WordPad previously. I'm going to paste it into a notepad. Uh, hoping, you know what, I don't even, well, hold on. Okay, Control C, Control V. Ah, did it? Yeah, I guess it got everything. So let's try this again. Control C. Request system license add. Paste. Control D. No license data present. Five errors. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, retrieve license key. I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to go to Notepad Default, Open. I'm going to copy this, Control C. Request System License Add Terminal, paste that. And eh, it's still not going in very well. Okay, I'm going to go back here and try it again. Other. I'm going to pick. <clears throat> I'm going to pick Firefox this time. Uh, it won't let, oh yeah, okay. The OK button didn't light up right away. Let's say OK. Now this is actually how I remember doing it previously in the browser interface. 
Let's copy that. Request systems license add terminal. Paste. Mm. Still doesn't like it. Five errors. I copied that from Firefox into Notepad, pasted it into Notepad. Nope. One error. I think I'm going to try to remove some, some dead space or some white space between this. Let's see what this does. I'm adding a space between each grouping of numbers. Let's see what this does. Okay. Paste that. Hit enter. Control D. Hey, no errors. Successfully added. All right, so let's see what we have now. Show system license. Ah, look at that. We have a, uh, looks like what appears to be the 60 day license. And isn't that what the website told us? Was that it's a 60 day license. Unlimited bandwidth for BMX trial. All right, cool. Okay, so since we've got that license key and put it in there just right, let's go back over here and let's look at re-enabling that interface. Um, you see a few commands here, by the way. Show system license, uh, show system license installed show packet forwarding engine statistics. It tells you you now have a certain amount of allowed bandwidth. And so let's go back into here now and enable that interface. Let's do a commit on that, commit check. All right, it's gonna commit now. Now we have a, now we have a IPv4 uh, VRF route table. All right, if you do a question mark, you'll see that you have that now. There we go. Okay. Hey, I hope you like this video. If so, like it, share it with anybody else that you think might need help with their VMX license keys. And I look forward to the next one.